Welcome to yourlearningzone.tv in association with Morton Michelle. Exclusive training courses for Morton Michelle customers. In this module, we're looking at healthy eating for toddlers. You can stop and start the training video whenever you like, and if you've missed something, just go back to hear it again. Don't forget to have a notepad and pen to hand as you follow the slides, and there are questions to answer at the end which will help you check that you've understood the key points in the module. And don't forget to keep a record of the time you've spent here. It could count towards your continued professional development. All the modules have been devised by a registered dietitian, Nigel Demby. This is what he looks like. And if he appears on your training slide, make a special note of the information on that slide. Now we're ready, let's get started. Toddlers need a nutritious diet containing more fat and less fiber than diets recommended for adults and older children. If a child eats from all the food groups, they will be assured of a healthy balance of nutrients. Three meals of the right portion sizes and two nutritious snacks a day should provide most of the nutrients and all the energy that a child needs for healthy growth and development. And always try to keep meal times regular. A lack of routine can often result in children losing out on their dietary intake. Toddlers also need enough drinks to keep them properly hydrated. They'll need at least six to eight drinks a day. Plus, regular meals and snacks. These are an important part of our toddler's routine. Now, you'll also need to make a note of those foods that toddlers need to avoid. Too many salty and sugary foods are bad news. Sweet and acidic drinks like fruit juice can be served, but they must be well diluted. And drinks with artificial sweeteners are not recommended for young children. Although they're less harmful in the short term, they do encourage a child to have a preference for sweet foods and drinks, which can lead to long-term problems like dental caries and obesity. Others to avoid are raw or partially cooked eggs, raw shellfish and some large fish and whole nuts should all be avoided. That way you'll reduce the risk of food poisoning, contamination and choking. The nutritional requirements of toddlers are very different from adults and older children. This is the time when toddlers have rapid growth and development. And think of all the activities that toddlers get up to. This means they need far more calories in every mouthful of food than adults. A toddler needs around three times the number of calories or energy than adults, and they need much higher intake of vitamins and minerals. If we're going to provide our toddlers with this amount of calories and nutrition, then we can't rely on the sort of low-fat, high-fiber diets recommended for adults. A toddler's stomach is tiny. It's only about a third of the size of an adult's, so they need energy and nutrient-dense foods. Three meals a day plus two nutritious snacks are ideal. Don't forget, though, that we never recommend foods that contain empty calories, like confectionery, crisps, and sugary drinks. And we never recommend any foods high in salt, because too much salt is harmful to toddlers. Don't forget, your toddler's tiny kidneys can't cope with salt, and too much salt increases your toddler's risk of high blood pressure. Toddlers need a variety of nutrients for healthy growth and development. As well as supporting toddler growth, this is especially important to help support their immune system. And we know that toddlers are particularly prone to infection. So these are the main nutrients to consider for immunity. You can learn more about the functions of all these nutrients in the module Know Your Nutrients. This will tell you which foods contain them and how much children need of each nutrient, but for practical purposes, it's enough to remember this. A balanced diet, which contains foods from all the food groups, will provide everything a toddler needs. Okay, so this is the time to help you test and remind yourself of what you covered in this module. If you get any of the answers wrong, don't worry, just go back over the module again. It's the best of luck. We learned that toddlers need more calories per kilogram of their body weight every day for their healthy growth and development. But is it 35 kilocals per kilogram of their body weight, 65 kilocals per kilogram of their body weight, or is it 95 kilocals per kilogram of their body weight? That's 35, 65, or 95. And the answer is 95 kilocals per kilogram. Yes, this is the time when toddlers have rapid growth and development. This means they need far more calories in every mouthful of food than adults, around three times the number of calories or energy than adults. 
Now, which vitamins need to be supplemented in a toddler's diet? Are they vitamin B6 and B12, vitamin A and D, or vitamin E and K? Which vitamins need to be supplemented in a toddler's diet? Is it B6 and B12, A and D, or E and K? And the answer is vitamins A and D. Yes, children under the age of five should be given a daily vitamin A and D supplement. Remember, some families are eligible for free vitamin drops through the benefit system, but the drops are also widely available at supermarkets and pharmacies. Why is too much salt harmful to toddlers? Is it because it increases their risk of anemia, it increases their risk of getting rickets, or it increases their risk of high blood pressure? Why is too much salt harmful to toddlers? Is it the risk of anemia, the risk of rickets, or the risk of high blood pressure? And the answer is, it increases their risk of high blood pressure. Let's remember, we never recommend any foods high in salt. Too much salt is harmful to toddlers, your toddler's tiny kidneys can't cope with salt, and too much salt increases your toddler's risk of high blood pressure. Thank you for taking part. That was part one of this three-part course, Healthy Eating for Toddlers. You'll find more information on our other training courses at www.yourlearningzone.tv. So you're now ready for part two. Congratulations, good luck and happy learning. Yourlearningzone.tv from Grub for Life, your learning partner.